Hey everybody, I got my giant notepad here, and uh, yeah, so let's vlog about this. I am answering questions now in the next bunch of vlogs, questions that are put to me by the people on the YouTubes. All right, uh, do you need to be naturally talented to be a good developer? Short answer is no, you just need to be somebody who's patient, somebody who's dedicated, and somebody who's willing to put in the time, that's all. What you have to do, though, is you have to figure out where your strength lies. Everybody's different. Some people may be really good at front-end code. Some people be more inclined to back-end code. Some people might be better with infrastructure. Some people may be good at designing really efficient algorithms. You got to figure that out. How do you figure that out? You do your fundamentals. You do your fundamentals, so you're exposed to all these different things on a fundamental level. And then from there, as you experiment with smaller mini projects and you eventually do one or two decent sized projects, you're gonna start knowing yourself. You're gonna start figuring out where you shine. And that's what you should do. I learned this from my boxing days and from my martial art days, play to your strengths. When I was a boxer, I was a much better boxer puncher type. I hang out on the outside, throw a lot of jabs, move, boom, boom, boom. That kind of thing. Inside fighting, not too good. Steph wasn't too good on inside fighting, but when I was on the outside, my skill level was far, far higher. So I was always taking the game to the outside. I wanted a guy to play the long game with me. I didn't want the guy to play the ropes, put me on the ropes, get me on the ropes. I, I can handle myself, don't get me wrong, but I was much better on the outside. So on the ropes, I, I was like a level six on 10 in terms of my skill. On the outside, with the jabbing game and when I was doing the boxing, as opposed to the infighting, my level went up to eight or more. So same thing with coding. You have to figure out, or development, I should say. You have to figure out where your strength lies. You may be this type of person who's really good at UI and UX, user interface and user experience design. Good UI guys and girls and good UX people, hard to find, very hard to find. So if you're good at that, concentrate on that. And then you would steer your learning in that direction. That means more HTML5, more CSS3, uh, maybe React JS or what have you, depending on the type of uh, project that comes up. But again, play to your strengths. On the other hand, you may be really good at architecture, where you sort of structure the code and so on, and you set it up so that the other developers can come in and fill in those blanks that you, uh, you create this nice framework. Think of like a, a giant uh, skeleton that you create so that the app can be built out and filled in nicely. Very important, bad architecture, very bad for software in the medium and long term. So figure out where you're strong, go in that direction. So in terms of talent, figure out what your talent is. You don't need to be a genius algorithm writer to be on a fantastic, web developer who may be great at UI and UX. I find that people are usually good at algorithms or terrible at UX and vice versa. You get the idea. I hope that helps. Ciao.